Hi, this is Heidi Peak. We're at Welcome to 1979. This is where I'm going to be recording my debut EP. Tears are hidden the ground. Ain't it just like the sky to make me feel blue? Damn the rain for man me of you. I grew up around the best and greatest songwriters and musicians that I probably ever will be around and um, the just as we grew up my father was growing up too and he was learning more about songwriting and um, trying to make it on Music Row and what it takes and what it doesn't take we learned a lot of that <laughs> we would um, I remember staying up at night and he would be um, saying our prayers with us and we would all hold hands and um, we would just pray that whatever song he had on hold would get cut in the next couple of days and most of the time it didn't happen but it was just that whole process I understood the whole music row you know getting songs recorded I understood that at a really early age in this dream My dad has a certain structured way of writing. He always uses hard rhymes. He's not a soft rhymer at all. You won't hear a song, not that I can think of, that he rhymes me with next or anything. Um, and very, they have, each one has a point and a story. And um, I've grown up around people who are very, um, cautious of the songs that they're writing and what they put out and what they're saying and what they're trying to say to the world. And so um, that's kind of always been instilled in me and my songwriting um, has, I kind of have my own take on that. I try to write songs that by Music Row standards, you know, that they could say, well, that's that's a well-written song. You know, the structure's there, and the rhymes are there, and the point is there. But I also, I love a lot of other music that wouldn't necessarily be um, what you would hear on the radio. Well, my mind goes back to better days When you told me I think if you can write the best songs possible by any standards and you write um, an important song that means something to you and can mean someone, something to someone else and you can still have your own style and you can still have your own way of singing it and your own way of playing it, then I think you could do anything with that. You know, nobody can tell you that's not good enough and if they do then, you know, screw them. It doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> I 
I thought about, you know, you have a nice relationship with Andrew, of course, mm -hmm. but do your parents listen to that and do they think, you know, what, what the f is he doing to her? <laughs> no. 